that CPAs are real people and they, they get involved with the lives of their clients and the lives of their community. And it's a profession that we can all be proud of for the things that we do all around the state and all around the country. Rodney is just a good old country boy. I mean, he's just as normal as you and I would be. He's extremely smart and knowledgeable in the area of accounting, but is very approachable, you know, and cares, cares very much about his client and his staff. He is um, extremely smart. He has a great sense of humor. He loves his employees, and I think um, we all love to be here. Well, Rodney's a good hard worker. I like the way that I'm able to talk to him about the different accounting aspects and just bounce ideas off of him. I went to Berry College in Rome uh, and had this uh, very popular major called Undecided uh, and uh, very quickly fell in love with political science as a major. He was very interested in politics. I just asked him, well, what are you going to do to make a living? I think that, that's what uh, turned him to, to, to water county. He had no answer for his dad when he, when he asked him that question either. Sort of shocked him, I think, that he'd have to make a living. My understanding of accounting at the time was that I could sit quietly at my desk, do my own thing, I would never have to talk to people or sell anything, and I could just live my life in peace and harmony. Uh, and wow, uh, I chose the accounting for a really, really bad reason, but I couldn't have been more happy with the result. It's been the perfect profession for me uh, because dealing with people is what I do every day and it's what I love. He likes being the person that they are coming to for advice and him helping them figure out how to best plan for their business or their future. And so I think that interpersonal, those interpersonal skills are probably what what he brings to his work um, successfully. Rodney and I remember when he was interviewing for his first job, did he tell you about that? The, um, the partners and their wives wanted to take us both out to dinner, which was really nice, but at some point the ladies, all the wives had realized that um, I, my dad was a CPA and they were like, what are you thinking? Why are you marrying a CPA? You know what tax season is like. Many people have been surprised that Jill, who was the daughter of a CPA, might even consider marrying another CPA. So uh, that seems to have worked all right, though. If you're going to be in public accounting, you need to be able to write and think and deal with people. So. To have a person that has an accounting degree in political science now, I think is probably a good combination. He has been a very good son-in-law, and it, uh, uh, they, they've been a good team. Do you think your dad is a good fit for being a CPA? Yes. His mentality of rows and columns are everything certainly fits the need to use Excel in everything that he does at work. <laughs> We definitely are rational people, more so than some of the others and the five of us. We have been taught from an early age about how to guard our money and to budget it wisely. We'll talk about just random things. Usually it's stuff that I kind of find interest in, sometimes like politics. He's great for tax help when I need tax help and doing my tax return in April. However, it does mean that I don't get to see him very much in the spring. Is there anything else you want to share about your dad? He loves baseball. <laughs> okay. Sometimes he does try jokes on mom and me, like when he's preparing to go talk places in the future. So sometimes we kind of get multiple versions of the joke. I think that he did pass his sense of humor on to all three of us kids in one way or another, so I hope I'm funny, so I guess he's a bit funny at least. <laughs> he's very quick to want to do the hard thing. Um, and that's, that's a great leader, that's just a great trait of being a, good, that's just being a great person. Um, but it, that helps an organization like ours where there are a lot of opinions in the room that all shape what we do and where we go. 
um, tackling the hard things quickly makes everything else a lot more fun and, and, and easier. I'll use that word again, just smooth and easy. Uh, Rodney has a great sense of purpose, a great sense of principle. I think his principle-based leadership is one of Rodney's strongest attributes and we really appreciate his leadership and his instincts towards um, what is right. He was probably born a CPA. He probably came uh, into this world with a white shirt and tie on and a pencil in his hand. I see Rodney is, is uh, exceptional. He has a real passion for it. I mean, he's the kind of guy that's going to, and I think he does have a CPA tag on the front of his car. When I look at uh, who I want to be around in a CPA firm as a partner, the first thing I really want is integrity. In our relationship over the years, uh, in our partner meetings, he's always been straightforward. He tells you what he thinks, and that comes from being in a position of being a junior partner. And he's never shied away from uh, 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 speaking his mind. I don't always agree with him, and, but uh, I do terribly respect him for, or sincerely respect him for speaking his mind. I love the ideals of what our profession stands for. I love the fact that we have a mission that, as, that does at the same time serve our clients to the best of our ability, strengthen our profession, and uphold public trust. I think his most um, significant or memorable or maybe uh, even fun um, volunteer time with the society was when he served on our ethics committee. He talks about that a lot and talks about the value of that and the meaning of that. And I think, you know, one of, one of or the biggest reason for that is because that's, at his core, that's who he is. He um, has a foundation of faith and ethical standards and behavior um, that are exceptional. Um, and he carries that with him and he, and he wears it openly and that affects people and it affects organizations. And um, I think it, now and I think going forward more and more we're going to continue to need people of that character, of Rodney's character and Rodney's faith and, and ethical core. Um, to carry us forward as we continue to change in so many ways. The profession, the organization, the people that are in it, the leadership. Um, and that's, that's an incredibly important thing and one of the things I love about him the most. The number of things that he has done through the years has always amazed me. Uh, and I, I think that's important and that's a lot of what we're celebrating. As we, as we look at the end of his uh, term as chairman. I have enjoyed watching him get to know these other people and several people I, I just kind of sense, you know, they have been mentors to him and they're also a friend and colleague that he can call to, call on for advice or, or encouragement. So that's, that's something I've enjoyed watching.